Hello and welcome to our video and a happy new year to everyone. This is our 16 plate Ford Focus Titanium. This is the auto finished in, I believe it's deep impact blue. This car came into us in part exchange from one of the BMWs that we sold, I believe it was. The whole car has been detailed, machine polished, and all the servicing up to date, it's full service history. The titanium has a really good level of spec on it. I'm just gonna take you around the front of the car. You can see we've got running lights there. We've got headlight wash with uh, bi-xenon lights, low beam and high beam. Parking sensors, which will also uh, show you uh, the size of a parking bay, I believe, on the display inside. Now I'll just come in close on this color. It's a really nice car. There's hardly any chips on the car. Maybe a couple of tiny ones if I can find one. I think there's one just near, there you go, just near the badge. Very tiny, um, but overall in beautiful condition. I'll just come out so you can see the car better from the side. It's got nice multi-spoked alloy wheels, running on Michelin tires. Just come in. So you can see. Now the bodywork is really, really nice. There's no scratches, there's no ding dents. Just show you around. And the windscreen is all very clean. There's no sort of nasty chips or anything like that. And you've got all these cameras that they have now for different drive aids and stuff on the car, driver aids I should say. Come up onto the roof. There's no bird dropping stains or stains uh, or marks should i say from tree sap that you sometimes get on cars so the body works really nice we'll come around the back rear of the bumper is all in lovely condition let's bring you up onto the top as well it's got a sort of spoiler effect on the back there come out and show you from this angle as I say, I think it's running. Let's just have a look at the size of the tire if I can find it. I can't. Uh, I think. I think it's on 17s. Yep, yeah, 17 inch alloys. Just come around this side again. So, we'll take a look inside the car. So the door card on the passenger side front. There's no marks on there. You can see just how clean that is. If you look down all the door. The boys have done a great job, both Dan and Peters, at doing the car. Dan specializes in the exterior and Peters does all the interiors and then the finishing around the car and inspects them to make sure they're really in beautiful condition. We've got the half leather almost like a bucket seat in all fairness, with the contrasting stitching. The leather's really nice. And uh, you've got all your damp radio. You can put your media in as well, from it like a, a card. And just take a look. Still got the blue cellophane on the door shuts there. Let's have a look in the back. Again, just look at those door shuts. No scratches, no dents. Really nice clean car. That's just a finger mark. That's from Greasy. <laughs> we'll wipe that off, that's nothing. Back of the seats as well, look. No, no dig marks, no scratches. Exceptionally clean, actually, for its age. Really nice inside. Let's take it down. You see that? Beautiful condition. No creases either. Oh, we've not shut the door. Let's shut the door properly. Have a look inside the boot. So it's got rear camera as well, I've just noticed on this car. So have a look across there. Look, no scratching. <laughs> you could almost say it's like new inside. It's, it's so clean. Okay. So we've got a uh, spare wheel one under there as well with the jack, etc. Pop that down. As you can see, we've got the rear camera 
underneath. Again, door card on this side, no damage and no scratches on the seal. I think that's a lumbar support, that lever on the side of the chair there. That'll be for both passenger and driver. I'm used to shutting the BMW doors, which are a bit heavier. Okay, so the driver's side door card, again, lovely condition, no marks. We'll bring you in close to it. Look how tidy this car is. Folding electric mirrors. And again, still got the plastic seals on there. All nice and clean if I look at the driver's seat. Nowhere. We've got auto lights, auto wipers, adaptive cruise control, speed limiter. Okay, let's have a look inside. So let's see, mileage is 16,876. And then you've got all these cruise control, speed limiter, all your options. I'm not too sure if it's got voice control, has it? Please say a command. Well, there you go, it has. <laughs> so that answers that one. Like I say, you've got dab radio, you can CD. Try saying a device name like phone or USB. You can also say climate, main menu, say a command. Climate 23 degrees. Let's see if that works. You can say a device name like audio, CD, <laughs> or radio. Cancel. It's always active, <laughs> so you can say things like call Jack Wilson, main menu, say a command. Cancel. Cancelling. Well, it does work because it cancelled, but we'll leave that to you to play with. Right, so then we've got the auto gearbox here, and we've got the plus and minus for the gears on the side. And it does have, I think it's got self parking. Yeah, looks like select side. Yep, so it's got self park as well. We'll turn that off. And then you've got, if you go into source, we need to connect a phone for some of this, but it's got uh, FM. I'm pretty sure there's DAB in there. But yeah, there is DAB, yes. Okay, I'm not uh, very familiar with the Fords. You've got dual climate control, which is nice. If I bring this lever back out the way. So you've got dual climate control, heated seats. Um, obviously the uh, air conditioning button there as well. But just look how clean it is. Let's have a look in here. We've got all the books in there as well. So full book pack. All nice and clean and the headlining. Now you might have to read the spec on this one. I'm gonna be very truthful. I don't know this car that well. I can see we've also got a USB down there as well. So we'll jump out and uh, Dan's going to pop the bonnet so we can have a look underneath. So while he's doing that, we'll just zoom out again. We've obviously had the car running. Thank you, Dan. So we'll bring you in. The engine's running, as you can hear. Very quiet little motor. Very efficient, good on fuel. They don't have an engine cover on this engine. That's exactly how it comes. You can see all up here, lovely and clean. So we'll close this down. There with me a second. Always a good idea to drop the bonnet because if you put it down and then push it, you can uh, dent the bonnet. So always 
drop it from about 12 inches or so. Okay, just take another quick walk around the car. So if you've got any questions on the car, please ask. And if I don't know the answer straight away, I will find out for you. But it's all ready to go. Exceptionally clean car with lovely low mileage. As I say, Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you for watching our video and we'll hopefully speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.